Hello and welcome to another episode of I'm Talking to Jew. I'm very excited this week. I'm also a little bit upset. Why are you upset? Well, this is the last episode of season one of I'm Talking to Jew. Oh, that's so sweet. I know, I've got mixed emotions. You can always just come hang out at my house no. in the meantime. <laughs> you don't Never. want to? No. No. How I do you want... feel? Because today we're going to test how much you've learned over the past 14 episodes, three and a half months. Yep. Normally I'd be very uh, nervous before a test, before an exam. Uh, I'm not at all nervous today. Why? Because you... Because I think I'm going to do so, 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 so poorly that it's just fine. Did you study? No. Did you even try at all? Not at all. Did you listen to any of the episodes? Nope. Okay. I figured that's the best way. So now I'm going to be angry if you actually... Actually, I'm going to have mixed emotions because if you pass, I'll be happy. Yeah. But if you don't pass, I'll be like, well, you didn't put any effort. Yeah. I won't be angry. I'll just be disappointed. Oh, uh, that's even worse. What are <laughs> yeah. we going to call a pass? 50%? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay. I, think we'll, I think we'll do a 50%. I think I'm going to be lucky to get that. Mm, yeah. Huge. Okay, well, before we jump right in, like Cal said, this is going to be our last episode of the first season. I can't believe we got it this far. Yep. It's not a, a completely a break because we've got some stuff to do behind the scenes. Um, you can always help us by spreading the word and we'll have a little bit of a chat about that later. Yeah. But we're just going to sort of recalibrate, redesign everything. If you have suggestions for the upcoming season that you've sort of been thinking about but haven't shared with us, now's the time. Yeah, let us know for sure. We need a break. I think we need a break as well. Yeah. I mean, I would say that people need a break listening to us, but we have the best voices in the world. No, no. And like if you're... Sad, you know, if you're needing your Jew fix, your I'm talking to Jew fix, yeah. just go back and listen to all the episodes again. Yeah, absolutely. That's fine. Yeah. And then come back to listen to this one and see if you get all the questions right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can play You can play along at yeah, home if you want. Yeah, absolutely play absolutely. Along, play along. If only there was like a downloadable little bingo type card where they could just mark off with their yeah. score or something like that. Ah, uh, they can just keep track. In their heads. Yeah. Yeah. Please, if you're driving and listening to this, please don't keep track of any way other than mentally. We don't want to be, you know, responsible for any accidents. True, true. Mm. We already apparently so ridiculously funny that people are in um, danger of crashing. So we don't want to add anything else to that. Yep, no, that's true as well. Cool. Accurate. All right, should we dive straight into it? Yeah, okay. Okay, oh, okay now I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> There's a bit of a mix. I haven't done anything that's like ridiculously easy or anything that's ridiculously hard. Yeah, Got okay. Some multi-choice, some true and false, some short answer, and then there's an essay component at the end. <laughs> Perfect. I'm not even joking. There is almost an essay component at the end. I was <laughs> okay. very pleased with myself when I came up with it. Yeah. Well, I haven't written an essay in a while, so... Yeah. I, I, I think back to my uh, my framework, like a burger. Like a burger? Yeah, you know, you got your you got your, your, uh, your bun... And you got your your meat. Yep. And then your bun at the bottom. Yep. It's like your, your intro, your paragraph. Oh, for the conclusion. essay. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Because I thought if that was sort of your strategy to deal with multi-choice, I don't think that really No, I works. think I'm just going to like, if I don't know anything, I'll just guess. Oh, which okay. is easy. All right. Also, just like an actual exam, like a university exam, you only have your mandatory attendance is for the first half. So if like halfway through this quiz, you're okay. like, oh... I definitely have got 50% already. Feel free to walk out. I'll just finish the yeah. podcast by, by myself. Yeah, this is like a university exam. So you made me take the label off my water, everything like yeah, that. Yeah, I checked your ID. Yeah. Absolutely, no. Okay, so let's jump right into it, shall we? Okay, let's do it. Question numero uno. Which of the two following texts were written first? A, the Torah, or B, the Talmud? A, the Torah. That is correct. Yep, that was an easy well one. Well done. Okay, so yep. I gave you an easy one. So one that, from one. I'll give you one point for that. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, that was a pretty easy yeah, one. I'm I just wanted to start you off, ease sort of me get in. you into the mood, that yep. sort of thing. All right, question number two. And again, this is not in any order. I've sort of taken it from all the different episodes. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Question number two. How many temples have been built and destroyed in oh, Jewish history? That's tricky. Yeah. I feel like there's a few. Eleven? Eleven temples. Oh, is that too high? I'm, I'm sticking with it. I'm sticking, sticking with, with it? It's way too high. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you a second guess and for half points. Okay. Just because I'm a benevolent examiner. Three. That's still too high. Ah, oh, two? Yeah, just two. Okay, well, I yeah. get no points for that. No, no, no Why points. did I think eleven? Um, I'm not sure. Probably yeah. because you're an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> and because you didn't study. Yeah, true. Yeah. That's fair. 
but it's okay. okay. And there's no follow through, Marcus. It's not like you can show me out. You're working out, and you. Well, oh, there like... was no working out there. I just, <laughs> you just guess. Eleven. Was Why the first did you go eleven? Eleven was know. very high. Yeah, I don't know. No. Okay. All good. I'm not going to tease you. I mean, I will tease you. That was bad, but yeah. that's all right. That's fine. Yeah. Question okay. three. Question three. Which of the following is not one of the Ten Commandments? Okay. A. Honor your parents. B. Don't use God's name in vain. C. Give generously to the poor. Or D. Keep the Shabbat, the Sabbath. Uh, C. Lock in C. Yeah, you sure? Yep. Well done. Yeah. All right. Two out of three. If you're poor, get out of here. No, 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 no. That's no. what I've learned from this podcast. <laughs> no. Jews hate the poor. You heard it here. Okay. All right. You might have got the question right, <laughs> but I think you fundamentally missed the concept. I don't know. It sounds pretty accurate to me. Just because it's not in the Ten Commandments doesn't mean that it's not important. Okay. Well, not important enough, evidently. <laughs> you know, there is actually a an opinion that some people, like when we read the section of the Ten Commandments in, in shul, in synagogue, yeah. some people... Um, actually don't stand up for that section of the part like because most people sit down during the reading and then stand up for specific important sections and some people don't stand up because they're like well that makes it sound like those 10 commandments are more important than the others Ah, okay yeah interesting yeah little sign point all right question number four yep you ready for it this is a true or false one the protocols of the elders of zion was written by jews false that is correct. Yes. You did have to think about it. Yeah, I had to think. Did you forget forget what it was? I kind of remember what it was. Okay. Did you want to recap it? This <sighs> is not a test. This is not one of the questions. No, it reminds me of some kind of like sci-fi type deal, but I know it wasn't. No, it was that really anti-Semitic yeah, yeah. plagiarized text that like popped up in Russia yeah, about yeah. just over a hundred years ago. And it's sort of been like the um the inspiration for Nazism and anti-Semitism for lots of people. Okay. That sounds like a nice lighthearted read. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe we'll do live readings on the. Oh, that could be good podcast. What? And then we just rip it apart. Yeah, maybe. I don't have a copy. I've never seen yeah. an actual copy. Can, eh? Well, I'm sure we could find mm. one. Okay. If you think that's a good idea, let us know. Yeah. And if you think it's a terrible idea, also let us know. Okay. But just nicely. Yeah. Well, I'm doing quite well here. Yeah, you're doing really well. Three out of four. Yep. Seventy-five percent so far, but it's early days. All right. Question five. This one is about Christmas. Why is Christmas considered so negatively? In many Jewish communities. Well, this seems like it has like a lots of answers. Yeah, yeah. I'll accept a range of answers that sort of touch upon the correct one. Okay, why is Christmas negative in Jewish communities? Well, that is not. Uh, There's something specific. Something specific used to happen often on Christmas. That was a bit of a hint. Why did you think out loud? Because oh, I'm know. enjoying it's not watching great you for think. Audio. I'm uh, hurting my head to think about it. Um, what happens on Christmas? Gift giving? They don't like the gift giving? No, Jews don't have an issue with gift giving. Oh, that's not good. Well, I got that wrong, didn't I? That's um, right. You can think through it. Like, what do Jews not like happening to them? Just being bullied. They don't like the old bullying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, what's the worst form of bullying? Being murdered. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, we got there. Yeah, okay, see? well, there's some... Yeah, some Jews were killed. Yes. <laughs> I know I'm laughing, but it's not a matter to be laughing about. I'm more laughing no. at how the penny dropped in your head. And I can yeah. see it. We should have done this like with a live yeah. Facebook video or something, just so people could have Yeah, that was hard, because that was hurting my head a little bit. Okay, should I give you half a point for that? I feel like I don't deserve it. Okay, all right. Well, yeah, the answer is because for me- quite a few generations, Christians used it. Um, I mean, I say Christians, but, you know, the old style of Christians, not the more yeah, yeah, yeah. tolerant Christians we have today, used it as an excuse. Um, Christmas as a day when they sort of got very angry at Jews and lots of pogroms and massacres happened against the Jews. Yeah. Uh, thankfully, that That's... doesn't happen today. So it's really well, good. Yeah. Okay. Well, three out of five. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Number six. This is another true and fo- true or false one. There is one type of kosher reptile. Oh, yeah. That's hard. Mm. If you haven't listened to the kosher episode, oh, we've been is. through all the categories of animals. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm saying true. You're gonna say true? Yep. Lock it in, Freddy. Yep. It's actually false. Nah, that's not good. There are no kosher reptiles. Ah. Also, I noticed that I said lock it in, Freddy, because I wanted to say lock it in, Eddie, but then I realised that Eddie was Eddie McGuire is actually the host of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire in Australia. Yeah. And he wouldn't say lock it in, Eddie, so I changed it to Freddy, but I didn't change the 
name enough to differentiate it from the host. Yeah, no, I liked it. <laughs> okay, yeah. good. Okay, good. I didn't like my answer, but I like that. Yeah, no, no, you did get it wrong. Okay. There are no kosher reptiles. <sighs> Why do I think there reptile? was? I don't know. I think last time I said false for true or false, and it got got in my head. Yeah. I wanted to balance it out. Yeah, you got to just... It's like tennis. Every game, every set is like from the beginning, so yeah. you just wipe the slate clean. Anyway, have you eaten reptile? Mm, Snake is, or anything? I've had crocodile. Yeah. Not, are they a reptile? Yeah, I think so. Okay, well then, yeah. And? Pretty good, actually. Really? Yeah. I imagine it'd be very tough. No, it's not really. Hmm. Yeah. It's yeah. good. Okay. Well, I'm not going to have any. You can't. But it's nice to obviously. know. All right. This is a numerical one. Okay. I think you're going to get this one. I'm confident in you. I'm going to say 11 again. I know it. <laughs> Hopefully not. Question seven. How many commandments are there in the Torah? A, 631. B, 613. Or C, 316. B. 613? Yeah. Well done. Yeah, I knew that one. Yeah, I was confident. I'll never forget that. I believed in you. I my believed entire in life. You. Um, did you know my wife's license plate has a 613 in it? Really? Either she's incredibly righteous or just coincidence. I'll let you, the listeners to the podcast, decide. Cool. I won't answer. <laughs> okay. Question eight. Yep. How do you know if a fish is kosher? All right. Okay. A, it says in the Torah. I which almost are... don't even need the All right. The prompts for this, but give them to me anyway. Okay. Um, okay. It says in the Torah which are and which aren't. B, it has fins and scales. C, it has gills and scales. Or D, we just go by tradition. B, fins and scales. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, well I'm done. That one. Yeah, you I'm bounced back here. Is that what you were going to say before I gave you the options? Yeah. I try to throw it around like with the gills because you know how like some... Yeah. Um, like crustaceans and stuff are not kosher because yeah. they don't have gills. So yeah. I thought, oh, maybe you doubt yourself. I'd be worried about any fish not having gills. Mm. I got yelled at, I have to tell you, last weekend because um, someone was talking to me about our podcast. And do you remember when I forgot whether barramundi was kosher or not? Yeah. So I got yelled at because at my brother-in-law's wedding on the menu was barramundi. And that's horrible. Yeah. Well, you were just too focused on their love. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah, I was just fine. so happy, you don't care slightly about inebriated, but yeah. 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 Okay. Too many um, Australian unflavored beers for you that <laughs> night. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. You've retained a lot from the kosher episode. Yeah, I know, because that one got me good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Especially this dairy beer down in New Zealand. All right. Question nine. Also, a short answer question. Okay. How did Jews become stereotyped as miserly and obsessed with money? Oh. Okay, so... When they were being like persecuted and yep. and uh, kicked out of all different places, they weren't allowed to have like jobs yep. and stuff. Yeah. And then there was all these different rules around money and stuff. So people who weren't Jewish used like Jews as like almost like middlemen to move their money around. Good. Am I on the right track here? Yeah, yeah, no, you got it right. Yeah. Because um, Christians couldn't charge other Christians interest or what they called usury. And so they used Jews as the middlemen. So the only jobs that Jews could go in because they couldn't hold property or anything. And because they had a network of Jews across different communities across the country, yeah. they used to become the middlemen. And that's how they got involved in the financial industry. Okay. Well, I'm pretty happy with that yeah. answer. No, I'll give it to you. Good. Well done. Good on you. Yeah. All right. Here's another one. True or false? The hawk is the only kosher bird of prey. False. That was None of quick. them are. You confident? No birds of prey are kosher. Yeah, well done. Yep. Good on you. I'm all about the kosher stuff. I got that down. Yeah, you really do. Well, it was quite recent we did kosher. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So. Well, just wait, because maybe when we get to some uh, Shabbat questions, we'll see. Yeah. Okay. I have a feeling that anything food related, you just retain. Yeah. Well, every time we do this podcast, I'm always really hungry. <laughs> yeah. We always record pre-dinner and I'm always yeah. just really hungry. I'm sorry. Would you like to get some food quickly? No, it's fine. Okay, good. Too busy chowing down these questions. Mm -hmm. All right. Question 11. Cast your mind back to their festival of lights, Hanukkah. Yep. Which army did the Jews defeat during the miracle of Hanukkah? A, Romans. B, Babylonians. C, Greeks. C, Philistines. Oh, this is hard because I feel like it's the Greeks. They were in their temple, but was that the army they defeated? Was it the Romans? Or was it the Babylonians? That's the question. I know. <laughs> I'm working it out. You've ruled out D, the Philistines. Yeah, they're out. Okay, cool. Oh, I know the Greeks, are, like they have everything to do with that story. Yeah. I'm going to go Greeks. Yeah. Smart. Well done. Yes, good. 
I don't know why I was doubting myself. I, was, I almost thought like, Greek people don't have armies. <laughs> Greek yeah. people don't well, have armies. Of course armies. they did. Just because they can't currently afford an army. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because they're so broke. Doesn't yeah. mean they always never had an army. Uh, well, I'm glad I got that right. I would have looked foolish. Mm, yeah, you would have. All right, question 12. Yep. How many books are there in the Torah? Oh, I should really know this. Three. Lock it in? Yeah. Ba oh. It's five, my friend. That's disappointing. It's five books of the Torah. Why did I think it was three? I mean, look, we spoke about it two and a half months ago. Yeah. Three months ago. So I don't really blame you. Yeah. Oh, well, I was kind of, it's pretty close. Yeah, you were, it's not bad. Okay. All right. Should we go into question 13? Yeah. I feel like I'm doing well here. Yeah. You, you're doing really well. Should I do a quick score check? N- yeah, yeah, sure. Two, Update four, me. six, eight, nine out of 12. Yeah, that's good. That's pretty good. Maybe yeah. I made these questions too easy. Sure. Oi vey. I'm just too smart. Uh, hmm, I've been paying out. attention. Hmm, don't know. Which son slash sons of Isaac carried on the line of the Jewish people? I know it definitely wasn't Ishmael. <laughs> no, Ishmael was his half brother. Okay. We're well, yeah. About, well, I mean, we're talking about the next generation. Was what I said incorrect? No. But, it was. <laughs> <laughs> but well, sort of, because I said which son or sons. Yeah. Okay. Okay. A. Jacob. B. Esau. C. Both. D, neither. Uh, A, Jacob. Lock it in? Yep. Correct. Yep. Well done. Yeah, I remember that. Remember having beef with Esau? Yeah. Yeah. You have beef with a lot of people. Yeah, especially Ishmael, but that's for another time. All right. Number 14. Yep. The word Gehenom is generally used to, to describe what? A, hell. B, heaven. C, Jerusalem. Or D, the apocalypse. Uh, A, Hell. You are flying through these. Yep. That is correct. Yep. Well Going done. to Gehenna. I'm, I'm surprising myself. Yeah. You know what? You keep this up and you won't go to Gehenna yourself. I hope so. I can almost guarantee it. Nope. I cannot guarantee it. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go. I'm on 15. a roll. Which order of the books of the Torah is correct? A. Genesis, Exodus, Numbers, Leviticus, Deuteronomy. B. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. This is one of the harder ones. Okay, give me the give me the order again. So basically, I'll break it down for you. Genesis is definitely number one. Yep. Exodus is definitely number two. Deuteronomy is definitely number five. So number three and four, which comes first, Numbers or Leviticus? Oh, Leviticus. Leviticus come first and then Numbers. Yep. Lock it in? Yeah, lock it in. Correct. Yeah, thought so. How did you remember that? That That's very. I just remember um, numbers being like last, or Mm. very close to the Mm. end, and thinking it was strange because they all had these like super Jewish names, and they're just numbers. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. Yeah. They're actually Christian names, ironically. Well, okay. Yeah, I'm foolish now. The Hebrew, the Hebrew names of each of those books of the Torah are actually mean different things. Well, not all of them. Like the Hebrew one for Genesis is the same, Exodus different. Leviticus, different. Numbers, different. Deuteronomy. I don't really know what Deuteronomy means. No, no idea. No idea. I, I like that one. It sounds good. Deuteronomy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Sounds like a drum and bass band. This one is from last week, from okay. the Sabbath. Shabbat. We'll consider it correct then. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Number 16. When defining acts of work prohibited on the Sabbath, we learn the different categories from the 39 categories of building the temporary temple. B, the 39 categories that the Jews were forced to do as slaves in Egypt. C, the 39 categories needed to prepare for the Sabbath. Or D, the 39 categories of work outlined explicitly in the Torah. Oh, I was really think- again? I was thinking it was a slavery. Yeah. And then that last one. So you've got A, work for the temporary temple. B, work as slaves. C, work in preparation for the Sabbath, or D, whatever's outlined explicitly in the Torah. Okay, it's not A or C. Okay. Tossing up between B and D. Okay. I was really confident it was B, the slavery thing, until... Until you got to D. Until I got to D. Tends to happen in multi-choice. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to go... Oh, this is too hard. I'm going to second guess myself and go D. And say so they're outlined in the Torah. Lock it in? No, no, I'm going to go slavery. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, <laughs> lock slavery. it in? Yeah, slavery, lock it in. All right. 
Both of those are incorrect. Oh, what unfortunately. What is wrong with me? <laughs> the correct answer <laughs> was the 39 categories of work used to build the temporary t- temple. I really should have got that. That was that's silly. Good. That was also a difficult one. Yeah. All right. Well, that's. I was right. really confident it wasn't that, but that's okay. Yeah, def- I know you knocked that out straight yeah, away. Yeah, definitely and use that now. I was trying to make sure my eyes didn't like widen. Like, <laughs> <laughs> ah, all right. I'm still doing okay. That's yeah, fine. you're not bad. All right, number seventeen. Which of the following people are Jewish? Someone whose maternal grandfather was the only Jewish member of the family, or someone whose paternal grandfather was the only non-Jewish member of the family. Oh, okay. Give them to me again. Okay. Someone whose maternal grandfather was the only Jewish member. So, your mum's dad yeah. was the only Jewish member. Or someone, if your dad's dad was the only non-Jewish member. Okay. That's tricky. Yeah. This is family genealogy. This is Jewish. B. B? B. Because if your dad's dad is the only non-Jewish member, yep. that would mean that your mum... Is Jewish. Yep. Making you Jewish. Well done. Yep. Boom. Good on you. That was very tricky. Yeah. Thank You're a you. sneaky, sneaky, sneaky little person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that little. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but I won't deny that I'm sneaky. Yeah. I mean, with that question. Okay. This is an easy one. What is the Yiddish word for a synagogue? And it's easy because I mentioned it earlier in the podcast. A shul. A shul. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Good on you. Would you have known that if I hadn't Too cool for shul. I think I would have got it. Yeah. I think yep. so as well. Too cool for sure. Okay. Question 19. True or false? Cutlery can never be non-kosher. Only the food it's used in can be. Uh, false. Cutlery can be non-kosher. Correct. Yep. Well done. Yep. Good. Good answer. Lots of stuff can be non-kosher. Yeah. Your um, your hanukia can be non-kosher. Yep. If it's technically not a hanukia. Yep. 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 Good. Are you just trying to prove your knowledge? Yeah, yeah. I'm just Are you bra- trying to write like extra answers in the margins to impress the examiner? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it worked. I'm just spitballing. Consider me impressed. All right, question 20. The first commandment in the Torah is A, be fruitful and multiply. B, nah. treat your neighbor as you'd like to be treated. No. Nah. C, God is the one and only. <laughs> yeah, it's that one. C. C, lock yeah. it in. Yeah. You are incorrect. No, what? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ooh, is I it thought... evil if I got like a like a wave of satisfaction? <laughs> I thought the first five were all God ones. Those are the, get of it? the Ten Commandments. I said the first commandment in the whole Torah. Ah, uh, I got to. You I did the classic. I not didn't reading read the, the question, question properly. You didn't read the question properly. I was really confident about that. <laughs> <laughs> now I feel like an idiot, <laughs> <laughs> and I feel horrible that I'm laughing yeah. so much. <laughs> all right. Yeah, first one of the Torah. Oh, I should really pay attention. All right, here we go. How much do you know about kosher animals? 21. Everything. Short answer. No multi-choice. What are the two signs of a kosher animal, like cattle, not of a bird or a fish? Uh, so they don't... Uh, they have to chew their own cud. Yeah, good on you. And they can't have a uh, like a cloven hoof. Yeah. Good on you. Done. Well done. Also, I like how you said they have to chew their own cud. I could chew n- someone else's cud. That's fine. <laughs> no one's chewing anybody well, else's uh, cud. No, that's fine. That's if a, so gross. If a kosher animal chews another animal's cud, is it, it's still kosher. Oh, wow. That's that's deep. Yeah. <laughs> it's well, so gross. <laughs> yeah, it is gross. I mean, chewing your own cud's gross anyway, so chewing someone else's is doubly Maybe gross. Maybe baby birds chew their parents' cud because the mother bird spits it out, right? They, like, throw it up into their mouth, I think. Right. Yeah, I think they, like, eat it and then they puke it up into their... Do the bird... Does the mother bird fully, like, does it go into their stomach or just stays in their, like, throat? Oh, I, I'm not an expert on yeah, bird vomit. But neither am I. Anyway, yeah. that is, uh, we got sidetracked. It's very gross. But you get the point. Yeah. I like it. The word halakha, which refers to Jewish law, literally, literally means what? A, the will. B, the right thing. C, the way. Or D, the words. Oh, that's so hard. Hmm. It's do you either. Me, do you want me to repeat it for you? Yeah, give me the options again. A, the will. B, the right thing. C, the way. Or D, the words. Oh, God. Where there's a will, there's a way. It's either one of those two. Mm-hmm. Would you like to. I'm going to yes. say it's. I'm just going to lock it in and say C. It's the way. Correct. Yes. Well done. Knew it. That was good. Like the way you live your life, the way you should exactly. live your life. Yep. Exactly. I was trying to trick you with like God's will. Yeah, that almost got me. <laughs> yeah. 
23. Why do Jews play with a dreidel on Hanukkah? Because uh, they're boring and they've nothing else to do. Nah. Uh, Lock it in? No. Okay. <laughs> Am I getting options here? Nope. No. It's a short answer. Um, oh, it was a slave game, right? It started in slaves. I'm pulling funny faces at you. Oh, that means like I'm wrong. Yeah, a little bit. I'm not going to give it to you. Do you want to try again? <sighs> no. When the Jews were banned by the Greeks to learn Torah, they would secretly learn Torah. And then when Greek soldiers would come past, they would quickly put away the Torah and pull out dreidels and pretend to be gambling with dreidels. I was, was pretty close. Was cover. I know, that's why I was making funny faces yeah. instead of laughing at your ignorance. They were, Well, they were kind of... No, they weren't slaves then, I guess, technically. Would you like me to give you like a quarter of a point? No, I don't want any... I don't want your pity. <laughs> I didn't really want to give it to you. Yeah, good. All right, 24, another short answer. What is the oral Torah? Uh, the oral Torah is like when... Well, I guess when rabbis read the Torah yeah. and they make like comments on it, basically. And that sort of... Uh, Gets a little bit Chinese whispery going around. It's like a reader's guide, I think, is how I described it a little bit. Yeah, sort of. It's like an explanation of yeah. the Torah. Okay, I'll give it to you. That's good. Yeah, I'll give it to you. It's the it's the complimentary Torah that sort of came along with oral tradition to it's explain di- and expand yeah. what it... It's the, the director's Torah commentary. Is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I've, I've, I like I've, that, actually, the yeah. director's commentary. It sounds more exciting than, like, <laughs> yeah. a bunch of old rabbis <laughs> talking about this book. Whoa, some of them were young and hip and cool. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Question 25. Who was the first Jew? A. Noah. B. Abraham. C. Moses. Or D. King David. I want to I, I want to say Noah. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's too obvious. But I'm going to say Noah. Lock it in? Yeah. That's wrong. Yeah, I thought it was. It's Abraham. Oh, Abraham that's so Lincoln. silly. I'm such a dumb, silly idiot. Yeah, did you just realize? I knew. Yeah. Because that all happened before Noah. I know. Ugh. No, Noah happened before Abraham. What? Noah just wasn't a Jew. Well, that's silly. <laughs> it's not silly. It's history. <laughs> all right, fine. Whatever. All right, well, question. he's a Jew in my eyes. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> you don't really have authority. That's fine. Question 26. How many tribes of Israel were there? A, 6. B, 10. C, 12. This is way back in our 12. first episode. 12? 12. Lock it in? Yep. Yeah, you got it. I remember because 12 sons. Yeah, good on you. And then the daughter that didn't get to be in the club because mm. she was a dumb lady back nope. in those days. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's what they said. Nope. They said, no <laughs> girls allowed. <laughs> Not what they said. Well, i got to rein you in sometimes. <laughs> All right. Why did Jews wear a kippah? Short answer. Take it away. Uh, to remind them that uh, God is always there. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Well done. 28. And they look good. So. Do they? No. Maybe you just see me wearing it. And I am just ridiculously handsome. So you assume it's because of a kippah. not that. No. Nope. No, nope, definitely not. Are you sure? Yep. Just think about it for yep. a bit. No. Nope. Mm. Nope. Okay. Confident. Question 28. Yep. What is the last event that happens in the Torah? Oh, boy. I'll remind you, I had to edit out you saying the F word when you found out about this because you were so upset. Moses dies. There we go. Yeah, good hint. Good hint. That really, that rocked me. That yeah? rocked me like a hurricane. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. I know it did. Ugh. I'm upset that I... Listeners didn't really get to hear the authentic reaction to that. Yeah. I like it's like I knew he died. Yeah. You just weren't expecting it. Yeah. Like it's if like, it kills off the main character at the end of the movie. Yeah. It's like, you know, have you seen you've seen Argo, right? The movie? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like the whole time you know they get away. Yeah. It's a true story. Yeah. But I was like so tense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was like, Yes. Yeah, it's the, <laughs> yeah. it's the mark of a good story. Like yeah. you know it's gonna happen, but you stood does it really gonna happen? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Question twenty nine. R. I. P. Moses. Which of the following foods are not considered parav? Do you remember what parav is? Yes. Okay, well, I'm not going to tell you because that would just make okay. it too easy. Oh, I do know what it is. Which oh, of the following oh, foods are not considered parav? A. Tuna. B. Lamb. C. Honey. Or D. Chicken eggs. Oh, this is so difficult. You can... Lamb, tuna, honey, honey and eggs. Chicken eggs. You can eat honey. Mm-hmm. No, that's fine. I'm going to say honey. Lock it in. Oh, I feel like it's wrong. It is wrong, unfortunately. Yeah. Parav means something that's neither dairy nor meat. Oh, that's right. So tuna is neither dairy nor meat. Lamb is meat. Chicken eggs is neither. And honey is neither. So the correct answer was lamb because it's meat. I'm sorry. Right, Parav is saying that it's neither dairy nor meat. Yes, yeah, so I said what is not 
Pyro Vision. Oh, that's what got me. Yeah. Yeah. I got to start listening to these tricky... <laughs> I think tricky. you should. All right. This is the last question before we get to the essay section. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. True or false? It is important for a single Jew to keep every single... Oh, sorry. I said important. Scrap that. Start again. Okay. True or false? It is impossible for a single Jew to keep every single mitzvah slash commandment. Or oh. any single Jew. There is no single Jew that can keep every single commandment. True or false? I want to say true. I feel like some of them rely on other having other people. Mm. Would you like to lock it in? Yeah, I'm going to lock in true. It's correct. Yeah, good. Well done. Yeah, did well then. some apply to men, some to women, yep. some to priests, some to not, some to kings. So there's no one who fits every single criteria for every single commandment. Yep, easy. All right, are you ready okay. for the essay? Section? It's my essay. It is. It's, a, it's sort of a misnomer. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to say words yep. that we did in vocabulary. Okay. And you're going to have to say back to me in a sentence that makes sense. Oh, this is hard. If you get it correctly in a sentence that makes sense, yeah, you get a point. Okay. The first one is Mazel Tov. Mazel Tov. Um, oh, Mazel Tov on your new baby boy. Yes, correct. Next one. L'chaim. Uh, oh, here's a, here's some drinks, boys. L'chaim. Let's okay. drink. <laughs> That's yeah. good. A very imaginative <laughs> sentence. <Yeah. laughs> C. No, uh, C. Three. Number three. Shalom. Shalom, uh, that's like peace. Um, all right, see you later. Shalom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all right. That's good. <laughs> okay, there's no time limit. You don't have to throw it No, I'm really flustered. I want something, <laughs> no, I want <laughs> speed something <round. laughs> creative. I want something imaginative. All right, okay? I'll give you a creative one. Hashem. Oh, you know the guy upstairs? Yeah. Yeah, his name's Hashem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's named after Hashem as well. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember what Hashem means? Uh, like uh, this is not a this the is name. not part of the quiz. Yeah, the name. Yeah. Good, good on you. Uh, awesome. I'm nailing this. <laughs> yeah, you are. You are four out of four so far. Number five, chutzpah. Chutzpah. Oh, that was like he had a lot of chutzpah. Um, like oh, confidence. Like uh, oh. use it like in a sentence. Like oh man, like uh, when Aaron and Cal started this podcast, they had so much chutzpah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that was good. Yeah, not bad. It's not true. We were very humble, but yeah. nonetheless. All right. Six. Goy. Goy? Yeah. Oh, that's me, baby. I'm a goy. <laughs> I'm a goy boy. I'm a goy boy. Yeah, that's not bad. I'll never forget that one because it rhymes. It's easy. Goy boy. Goy boy. You can have a goy girl. Yeah, but I'm not a girl. So no, it's easy not. for me to goy remember. Goy gal. Yeah. All right. Number seven. Schlep. Oh, man. Like every week when I come to do this podcast at your house, I have to schlep. My laptop and everything all the way over here. All right. Well, it didn't have to be so personal. And negative. <laughs> it's correct, but I kind of don't want to give you the point. Yeah. All right. Eight. Mensch. Mensch. Man, you're just like such a... Like, it's just doing this podcast with me. It's such a mensch thing of you to do. Yeah. So mensch. So, yeah. Good. So mensch. Maybe less so. I liked how you were like, I want you to make them imaginative and i was like okay everything is about the podcast then. <laughs> yeah everything is about your personal experience okay i'll right? give you a good one i'll give you a good one the next one okay but well, for the next one for this one for the next one all right cool next one is shkoyach Skoya. oh because this is very similar to chutzpah no. i remember okay am i wrong oh no i don't know <laughs> no just use it i'm laughing too much <laughs> did i say like does Skoya not have that sound <laughs> <laughs> just use it <laughs> this is very unprofessional of me. <laughs> um, yeah, you're ruining the whole podcast. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, oh, but Shkoya was like a little bit different. It was like like something super cool with Shkoya. So like, you used it in a sentence. Uh, like <laughs> me being professional right now and not laughing and losing my cool is very Shkoya. <laughs> Not really. Uh, no. Am I so on the wrong track? Well, sort of. Shkoyach is that that sort of thing that you say to someone after they've completed like an amazing feat. Yeah. That, I, and yeah. I was talking to myself but, about but, it. No, you can't. It's not like an adjective. You can't say like doing this podcast is so shkoyach. It's like something you say. Oh, like when, congratulations like, on yeah, doing the podcast. Yeah, when you finish the podcast, like, oh, shkoyach, you finished your podcast. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you get zero on that one. But, okay. But you made me laugh a lot. So you, you get crying like, tears of joy. <laughs> I am. My, my, I can feel the tears. I was <laughs> laughing so hard. All right. Number 10. Last one. Dafka. Dafka. 
Oh, we did this so recently. Oh, I'm blanking on this one too. Dafka. 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 Oh, I feel like I've had to keep saying it. I'm going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, what is it? I know it. I totally know it. Okay, so if you totally know it, totally share it. <laughs> that was really Dafka. That was Dafka. It's not like... Oh. Oh. <laughs> you just stop saying oh. Ever since Aaron started his podcast, he's been acting so Dafka. Yeah, that works. Yeah. But yeah. I'm not convinced you know what it means. You didn't say you correct. Didn't say define okay, I'll it. give you, you said, the you point. Said, I'll give you the point. It means you're like arrogant. Yeah, sort of. It's like, yeah, uh, yeah, and not really. It sort of means like you're just doing it just for oh no to reason. annoy someone. Just yeah, to... just for no yeah, reason. Yeah, like yeah. it's just okay. Dafka. Oh, he did a Dafka. Okay, but don't give me a point for that. That was fair. no. The sentence worked. Yeah. You just had no idea. Yeah, I just, I'll, I'll, oh, should I give, I'll give it to I, you. No, 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 no. I got it right. Yeah, you got it right. I didn't know what it meant, that but I got it right. Was. Okay, Cal. Yes. Can you please speak to our listeners about whatever comes to your head? I'm going to tally up your score. Oh. All right. Okay. Ready? Go. Okay. Well, I think I did pretty well. I think I did pretty, quite well then. Um, I guess I'd just say, like, should I say thanks? Thanks for listening. And I look, Aaron's busy over there tallying through glassy, tear-filled eyes. And I already know I passed. I can tell. I nailed that. If I didn't get 75%, I'll be pretty disappointed. All right, I have your score. That was hard. What? I felt like I was doing a freestyle rap just then. What? When I had to just talk off the top of my dome. Yeah. That was real hard. Really? I feel that's what like Jay-Z must feel like when he's put on a spot. I often said that you remind me of Jay-Z. Yeah. (laughs) I'm the Beyonce to your Jay-Z. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Yeah, I would. You're like um, the lady that Jay-Z cheated on Beyonce with. Today. What? Yeah. That's who you are to me. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I don't even know who that is, and I'm insulted. All right. Yeah, would you like I. to guess what you got? What I got? Yeah. I reckon I probably got... Uh, it was out of 40. Out of 40? <laughs> yeah. So, let me just put on my calculator. I reckon, I think, I got 33 out of 40. 33 out of 40? Yeah. You got 31 out of 40. Oh. Which, if my terrible maths is correct, gives you 77.5%. Hey, I'm pretty happy with that. That's pretty good. Yeah. And I'm pretty happy with that because I feel like as your teacher and your mentor through this Jewish process, You've done I well. deserve all the credit. Yeah. And with no study, mm. I've nailed that. Yeah, that was pretty good. And I feel pretty confident in saying that I am now an authority... On all things Jew. Yeah, I think that's Well, fair. all things we've talked about so far. I th- Yeah, I think that's a, that's an okay thing for you to assume. That's gone well. Yeah, well done. All right, well, that wraps up season one. Before we go, yeah. I just wanted to address two quick Jew've Got Mails. Okay, that's just fun. Yeah, so we got... Um, there were two questions, big questions that came in. Actually, one's a big question and the other one is a big suggestion. So the first one is from... Uh, someone who calls himself the biggest fan, which I think is actually a title that's in contention now. Is it Bookie? It's not Bookie, uh, no. He was Bookie, very... I'm, I'm Bookie's biggest fan. Are you really? Yeah. He'll be very chuffed. He's way better there. than Jake. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we haven't heard from Jake in a while. Yeah, I think he's dead. <laughs> oh, God. No, I hope not. Uh, this one is from someone who calls himself the biggest fan. His name is Ellie. And he has a suggestion to save our notoriously, infamously terrible segment from like the past few weeks which uh, is the Jew jokes one yeah Jew jokes yeah so his suggestion first he says he's a massive fan of the podcast Good. thank you Ellie we're a massive fan of you well okay let's not jump the gun well I just want to dish out some love that we receive okay um, he said here's a suggestion to save the Jewish humor segment instead of reading a joke from a book how about Aaron that's me tells the start of the Jewish joke related to the topic covered that podcast and Cal has to guess the punchline Okay. Okay. It's not bad. It requires more work from me because I have to actually, instead of opening to a random joke, I have to find one yeah. that's specific. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, that could work. Mm. Okay. I'm never going to get the punchline correct because <laughs> no. it's always something that's like, is that it? Very is obscure. that the joke? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We can think about it. We can try we'll, it out. We'll put it in the pot of things that we have to stew over for the next little while. Yeah. Not a bad suggestion from Ellie. Not at all. The next one is from another listener who also, she said, her name is Tsiona. And she says that she's loving the show. She's loving the way we explain things, which is very nice. Mm-hmm. I'm Does just she claim to be compliments. biggest fan as well? Because we could have some, some beef. She doesn't call herself the biggest fan, but she says she loves the show. So I'm okay. not going to hold anything against her. Huh, fair Basically, enough. Basically, she her question is all about um, how do we 
explain or how do I explain, um, I guess, how to be moral without religion. So the question is, she wants to know how does she explain to her non-Jewish friends without sounding, sounding a little bit crazy, how on earth you can, you know, be moral without religion. If you're an atheist, how can you be moral? Okay. Mm. So I hope I'm doing that question justice because it is a little bit long. Yeah. It's probably a little bit broad for us to deal with at the moment, especially in the last podcast. Yeah. But... I guess for a short answer... Yeah. Just... uh, Which doesn't apply to everyone, but like treat other people the way you want to be treated. Yeah. I think her question is more like, why would someone have a reason to be good without religion? Okay. Yeah. Well... Like, in, if you didn't have the Torah or God telling you to be good, what reason do you have to be good? Which, again, is a massive philosophical question. It's actually one that I'm very interested in. Yeah. I do a lot of research about it outside of the podcast. Oh, so you're still saying, like, if there are no sort of, like... Well, not consequences, yeah, but yeah. nothing guiding you, yeah. why aren't you just bad the whole time? Mm. My short answer, Tsiona, would be that in Jewish philosophy, there's pretty much every single opinion under the sun. So... There have been opinions that said there's no such thing as morality other than what God says. And there are opinions that say that morality is completely objective and just God... Like, it's the question about whether God says to do something because it's good or it's good because God says it. Yeah. So, yeah. So, basically, without answering your question... um, it's 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 hard. It's a very deep topic. We might actually push that forward and make an entire podcast about it. Yeah, it's a big can of kosher locusts for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but not reptiles because no reptiles are kosher. I think seeing as how it was a fan question, yeah, that we should make it an episode. I uh, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. I think we'll do it. I think okay. we'll push into season two. All right, so keep tight, Siona. Stay in your seats. Stay listening. Um, and we'll deal with it hopefully soon. Yeah, we'll be back for season two in. I don't know how many weeks. Yeah, we've got some stuff to do behind the scenes. Yeah. Don't go anywhere. Please do get in touch. Let us know how season one was. Let us know what questions we covered that or we didn't cover that you want us to cover. Yeah. And suggestions, complaints, compliments. Yeah, if you have ideas for segments, that's good. Send those in. Let us know. If you want specific subjects to be spoken about also send that in yeah beautiful cool. we're gonna we're gonna consider all sort of things maybe we'll think about guests yeah that could be hard but we mm. might do it yeah we might do it you know just send them through talking to you at gmail.com yeah find us on twitter facebook we're on instagram yeah soundcloud stitcher we're everywhere everywhere we're well, not everywhere but we're in a lot of places yeah we're not on pinterest no nah, but it's i don't a totally really know different how that demographic, works I feel. yeah okay all right well that's it from us i hope you enjoyed it Cal, I wanted to say shkoyach to you for a good first season. Yeah, and uh, shkoyach, shkoyach to you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate been, it. It's been a real mensch time. Oh, thank you. You've got a little bit of chutzpah, but we'll get there. Yeah. All right. Well, see you later. We'll see you in... We'll see you soon. Yeah, keep your eyes on the news feed, on the podcast feed. All righty.